In the currency quadrant, taking a look at the December British pound, which was the strongest major of the day today versus the Euro, the Japanese Yen, the Swiss franc, and the other majors that trade against the US dollar, up a little bit less than a half of 1%, a little bit more than four tenths of 1% into the close. On the highs though, we were up over a half of 1%, 54 basis points to be exact, 136.91. Those highs were reached after the FOMC announcement today as the dollar got weaker. 136.07 was the low. That was just below the flat line, less than one tenth of 1% lower. And the British pound, again, had the largest move against the US dollar for the majors. And it's the first uptake in the last four, but the British pound is still working on its second consecutive down week. So overall, a strong day, but still a negative week, down about a half of 1% on the week so far. PMIs that were released overnight, the composite and services PMI for the UK beat expectation. That helped build on that strength we saw in the morning. The composite final PMI for October came in at 57.8, expected at 56.8. Last was 54.9. And the services PMI was 59.1, last at 55.4. It's expected at 58, so better across the board. And that's after beating on the manufacturing component as well the previous day. So the data was strong. And that's kind of fueling this idea that the Bank of England uh, interest rate meeting, which is coming up tomorrow, might have a rate hike in it. Bank of England Governor Andrew Bailey recently said, and I quote, the bank will have to act and must do so if we see a risk, particularly to medium term inflation. That's led to sort of some doubling down on play on trades that might call for a faster rate of rate hikes out of the Bank of England also causing a little bit of British pound strength. But we'll see that Bank of England meeting is tomorrow. Uh, and we have the FOMC today, Bank of England tomorrow. We had the Polish Central Bank raise rates. Central banks definitely on the radar screen. Bank of England tomorrow affecting the pound.